Hi, and good day to you. Thanks for tuning in my station, Instant Info. My name is Norbert Heuser. Good day to you. Today's theme is stress. And uh, everyone uses the word, and everybody uses the word every day. And you're stressed by your wife and your kids, and by your uh, boss, and by uh, the situation, and whatever happens in your life. We always talk about stress, and we act very stressy. Now, I would like to offer you some information which you can decide it's true or not, um, that stress originally was designed by nature, by God, by the Creator, um, to help you. It was a help flow. So, 10,000 years ago, when you were uh, having a confrontation with a tiger in the desert, um, it created stress in you. Now, what creates stress in you? You are afraid, you are scared, you are concerned, of your life. It's a life-threatening situation. In this moment, the body, as a defense mechanism, gives you a truckload of adrenaline. Uh, the adrenaline gives you the power you need either to run as fast as you can or to fight as good as you can. Either way, you need power. So the adrenaline gives you that extra power boost you need for survival in a key situation, in a life-threatening situation. Now, what happens if you have such a life-threatening situation? The basic body functions, others than to survive, which you need to survive, are kind of reduced or completely stopped. In the moment a tiger is up to hit you, you will not think about having now a nice pizza dinner with your wife, or you will not think about having sex. It's all not your concern. The body says, we don't need this now. No functions, no desire, no importance. Importance is run or fight. I give you power. That's the mechanism of uh, stress. And this adrenaline you have uh, in an abundance. Um, now, in our society nowadays, you are hardly confronted with a tiger and you're hardly confronted with real pure survival situations. Very few people have that situation. Um, stress can arise from three sources. Mental stress, environmental stress, pollution and so on, or physiological stress. So these are the potential sources for stress. Now, most of us have chronic stress. We are permanently under stress. Every day, three, five, ten times. What I did when I was younger, when I came across these ideas, I had a small booklet, and for a week I would every day uh, make a tick for every time I had a stressful thought or stressful situation. I woke up in the morning, okay, shit, I'm too late, I gotta run, I gotta quickly run, and I made a stress, right? I made a mark. So, and by the end of the week, I saw how many marks did I make? How many marks did I make in one week? How many times did I put myself under stress or other people put me under stressful situations or I accepted these situations as my problems, okay? So, and you end up in a chronic stress. It's not a one-time stress and nothing for a week, a month or a year. It is a every day, during the day, 10, 20, 50 times stress thoughts and stress actions. Now, what it does is every time it increases the adrenaline and every time it increases the adrenaline, what happens is that body functions are reduced or stopped, which means our normal body functions we need for our health are not working fully. Uh, so that means chronic stress has a consequence of an unhealthy life. Um, and I would go that far today that I would say that chronic stress is the main reason or at least the basics of nearly every or every illness there is. And this is a question whether it appears in your mental world, world, sorry, in your mental world or your physical world. It doesn't matter. The result, stress and the consequence for the bodies are the same. So, and I think there is no illness without mental or physical stress to the body. And we will talk about other subjects, electromagnetic radiation and whatever, which create stress to your body, or bad water, which creates stress to your body. So you want to think about this, and um, it's difficult. It's difficult in this world to be not sucked in, and to keep you cool and you calm, regardless 
how bad the situation is. But if we cannot do this, we shouldn't be surprised if we keep fighting. And I don't know any person, I include myself, who has not, to a bigger or lesser degree, an illness, who suffers. Uh, even doctors, they're not free of it, by far not free of it. So that's my thought about stress. Think about it, and uh, this is why for a lot of people meditation helps, and some kind of spirituality uh, to calm down and to find yourself, and find your, the inner you, and not what people make out of it. I wish you well, thanks a lot for tuning in, and subscribe in the button below, and maybe sooner or later, uh, you watch the next of my episodes on Instant Info. My name is Norbert Heuser. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.